If anyone were to say to me, what's your favorite van? If you had any van you wanted, which one would you take? I get this all the time, three times a week at least. I would say maybe four times a week somebody asks me this question. Uh, obviously, uh, what you probably do is to go and get one of these things that cost three million euros. It's what, a Marque Elemento Palazzo thing. Uh, you get that, you sell it, and then um, with the proceeds you buy a 1982 uh, VW camper. Well, um, and keep, and keep the change. That's not the way this is going to work. You've got to live in it for five years, and you've got to use it. And so if that's the case, I'm going to have one of these. The Heimer MLT 560. My birthday is in November, so you know. And uh, I really like this van. I'm going to give you the reasons for it. But um, this is how I think today. And I might actually change my mind in 20 minutes time. But I have been saying this now for the past three years or thereabouts. 109,000 euros this would cost. But it kicks off at 68 and it's got all these extras as well. Oh, before we do that though, I'll have a look at what it's got. Mercedes Sprinter 414 CD, I think that was quite clear. Uh, 674 by 222 by 290. Standing 198 as your weight. Ready to go. 2,860, 640 kilos of payload. Uh, so it's got stacks and stacks of payload. There's some of the extras. And the most expensive of which is the this one here. It's the um, 4x4 capacity, uh, which for me wouldn't be necessary. And, uh, so that's that's taking around by 12,000. So it's now 96,000 euros is going to cost me. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Uh, right, there's the bin. So wouldn't have to have a bucket lying on the floor as at present. Mercedes, you got this fantastic amount of space above your head. You've got a light streaming in there. Okay, now I've got the mosquito uh, net down, but um, so that's. But if you didn't want it down, which I don't recommend, um, then uh, you, you can remove it. Got this fantastic skylight up there. So first of all, it's got lots of light. That's something I do appreciate. I'm gonna have to tell you things I don't like as well. Hmm, a couple of big bins there, just noticed them. I haven't noticed them before. Uh, I've got nothing against bins. This is too small. That for me, is, it, it really is too small. If you, I mean, if you've got two people in the van, okay, fair enough, but if you've got four, uh, I'm not suggesting that uh, you uh, do major entertaining. I mean, let's face it, it's a van, you're living in a van, it's called van life for a reason. Van life means, as a rule, eating and drinking outside and, as you will see, there's a stack of space in the garage. But, you know, I like a big table because I have to work. Another thing I, w I would want, I want plugs over there. Uh, but, you know, you can do this. This is, I mean, you, you customise the van to suit your own requirements. And so, because I, I work in my van, I do need uh, electric connections right next to the table, both 12 volt and shore power. And one of them is going to have to be connected as well. The uh, the 12 is going to have to be connected to an inverter, probably. That's no, not the 12. The 230 is going to have to be connected to an inverter. The reason for that, I've got kitchen stuff, which uh, you can't get a mixer, for example, on 12 volts. Uh, at least I haven't seen one. I bet uh, the, they exist, but I haven't seen them. Right, okay, this here, this is nothing flash about this. This is quite standard. Um, not... Nothing flash there particularly. Oh, except I do like the plug hole. I like something that catches the bits. I'm not too certain why they do this in this way, but okay, maybe it sa saves a bit of weight. Put a bit of space up there. Ledge could be better, okay? I'm trying, I've got, I must point out the bad things because then they'll. When, when they give me one, they'll improve. They'll improve it, then they'll give it to me. That, well, that's the plan. You can hang things there. That's a you know, little, little, little thing. Costs next to nothing, and uh, makes a lot of difference. Okay, the let the 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 wall could be higher here. Look at that. It's too not enough space. 
that needs that needs to come up in my opinion I did the same thing in my own van and there was a lady friend who noted that no that wasn't done right you've got to, you can improve on that I've got this bin here I think it's a bin either that or a safe can't really see the point of that somebody might see the point of that right you've got a, a heating thing down there I'm not so keen on blown air heating so there goes another thing I'd get rid of blown air heating loses a lot of battery power um, I don't think it's practical to be honest, even though it's been used for so many years. Oh, sorry, 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 I hit the camera. I'm complaining about the ca the gimbal complaining or the camera complaining, and then I go and do something like that. Right, fantastically large uh, wet room here. Really, very, very nice. There might be a reason. Now, some vans this size have a uh, false wall, this one doesn't. It has these things here. Uh, what do you call it? Shower. Shower. Um, what's it called? Is. Paravan in Polish, and the word is in English. Um, there you go, that opens like that. Comes across. There you go, and it's stuck on now. There's a bit of resistance when I do that. That's good. I'm sure you'd agree that the this is a very elegant looking shower and oh, what's, that, what's that there for? I don't know. Anyway, there's probably a reason for that being there. Now, this is the bedroom layout I prefer. Okay, if you're taller than me or you don't want to sleep with your partner or something then you might need something else or you need to, need to get around the bed, you, mean, you might need the queen's bed or you might want a queen's bed, you might need it but you might want it so you know it depends what you, whatever's suitable for you yeah, this is not positioned for this isn't it more access to the heating Double wardrobe here. So plenty of space for your uh, your clothes, and there's your fuse box down there inside. I think the fuse box needs to be inside. I mean, if it's pouring rain or something, you don't want to start going into the garage or outside to to replace a fuse. I like to use the, uh, the skylight in order to get onto the roof. And at the back, finally, oh, they've got this here for a curtain. If you, if you don't want to see what's going on on the front of the van. Personally, I don't use it, but you know, some people might. Okay. Fridge is a bit large for my needs. But the thing is, they're not just making it for me, so because I can't afford it anyway. Um, I like the footprint, it's small, this garage, I can get two bikes in there, okay it's, um, uh, you know, it's a bit, you, putting two bikes in you sort of got to 
learn how to do it, you got the way the pedals have to be in the handlebars, but they would go, two bikes would definitely go in there. Entrance to the garage is 121 centimeters. You've got stacks of storage back here. It comes with a uh, used Land Park Biofella Natural mineral water. There you go. Though that might be an option. Did I mention the outside shower? Possibly. Uh, 450 kilos of weight. You know. Well, I'd never get anywhere near that. And I do want to get into electric. I do want to get an electric bike, uh, so I'd have to make a bit of a ramp because I think that, of course, this is on four by four. It's higher than it would normally be on a on a uh, normal use. But even so, it's, it is a bit in the high side, so I'd probably have to get a get a ramp. I haven't got an electric bike yet, but that's my plan. Because I think if I get an electric one, what I'll do is I'll race out to wherever I'm going. I can do 70 or 80 kilometers, and then I, once I'm totally exhausted, I can use the electric bit to help me get back. Whereas, as it is at present, uh, I do 30 kilometers, and think, oh, I better go back now, it might rain, the wind might start up, or oh, I might get tired, something like that. Dog might manage, all having said that, the dog doesn't like it when I go on the bike anyway. Because she, uh, she can't keep up after a while. Anyway, there is the MLT 560. I hope I've explained why it's my favorite van. I get it the T, the T bit, the teal integrate, the semi integrate. I get it like that rather than integrated. Prefer that there version. Got one here which is, I'll just show you quickly the layout. This isn't for me because it's a, um, it's got these uh, single beds at the back which I don't like. This is 674 centimeters long. I do like the, the shower door better here though. So that's what look, this one here looks like. Um, here we've got the false wall on the shower. Front bit's the same. Oops. That's the step. Good, so I hope you found that uh, interesting. If you find any use in what I do, it helps you to uh, find uh, your own. Uh, van, then please do consider supporting me on Patreon. That would be very much accept, uh, very much appreciated. And you might want to subscribe to my channel, Motorhome Full Time. Uh, not subscribe, I've got a, a, a monthly newsletter. And I hope you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. And so this is me signing out in Dusseldorf at Caravan Salon.